Hello and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at a different type of notification. We're going to be having a look at the text-to-speech notification and how to set one up. So at the moment you can see that I'm currently on the, no uh, the summary page. We're going to jump to the notification page. And we'll just wait for this to load up. Okay, so uh, here we are in the uh, notification page. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go to Begin Notification Wizard. Okay, and once we're on the Begin Notification Wizard page, uh, we have this drop down menu uh, where you can select all the different types of notifications. We're going to select the Speech Notification and click Next. Okay, now what the speech notification does, uh, it is allows you to type text uh, into a box and you can type whatever text that you would like uh, and then when the um, notification is triggered that text will actually be audibly read aloud from your uh, Security Probe 5e. So first of all, uh, here we are in the, uh, the Add Action page. The first thing we can do is actually we can change the action name. So at the moment it's Speech 1, we can change that to Speech alarm in office. Now the options below are obviously fairly self-explanatory. We have the speaker volume, the speech speed and the speech pitch. Uh, medium is normally a good one to keep them selected uh, on the speed and pitch. Speaker volume, 80 is pretty good, it doesn't distort and it's nice and loud. Now you'll notice that you have the message at the bottom. Now it says uh, at the moment it says testing sensor port 1 on port 0 is now normal and that would be what would be audibly heard from the speaker. Now if you want to change this text you'll notice that you can't actually do it at present. What you need to do is click the customized uh, box. Okay and what we can do then is we can actually uh, we can actually delete the text and we can actually type in any message that we would like it to um, audibly display. So for example we can type in uh, warning um, sensor is high critical. Okay, um, once we've done that we can then go and click next. Okay, now here we are back again on this uh, page which is, uh, first of all, we have the maximum times to replay the message. We'll set that to two times to replay and the replay intervals, uh, how many seconds between each playing of the message. So we'll set that to five and click next. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to select the sensor in which to add this action to. So first of all, we'll select the internal RJ45 board, and then we'll select the temperature in office sensor, and click Next. And as we uh, set it to a high critical, uh, it makes sense to select our high critical status. And we have uh, our speech alarm in office, which is what we renamed it. That is already highlighted, which is great. And we'll click Finish. again page loads up and as you can see here uh, on our notification page you can now see that uh, on the internal RJ45 board uh, the temperature sensor is selected uh, it's due to go off when it reaches a high critical and it's a speech alarm uh, which is the action um, so very very simple um, if you would like to add a custom sound for your notification something that you've pre-recorded yourself uh, then if you want to look on our uh, our product CD or on the YouTube page uh, for the alarm notification tutorial and you'll see everything you need to there uh, in terms of adding your own custom sounds. Uh, but for the text-to-speech notification uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching.